<laughs> Woo! Here we go. End of the year vlog happening now. What's up you guys, Rape Darazi here, and this is my final video for 2018. So I've been thinking about what I wanna talk about for my last video of the year, and I decided that with the new year and all good things that are coming, I really just wanna take a moment to say thank you to everyone, to uh, recognize the growth that has been made this past year and appreciate everyone's support and comments and encouragement and love in helping me build this awesome community where we can all be here for each other and, and, and talk about not only HIV but fitness and just living a healthy life and just becoming our best selves and living our best life. So with that said, thank you so much. In the last year, about a year ago, I had maybe 85 to 100 subscribers. I now am just about to hit 6,000. So that's really freaking awesome in one year. And let's see, last year I was putting out content, I would say maybe once every two to three months. And then towards the end of the year, I was slowly creeping towards once a month. At the beginning of this year, for the first like, quarter to half of the year I was doing once a month maybe every two weeks for a while and then in the fall I really started to ramp it up do every two weeks and then this last quarter I've been really shooting to do every week so um, I'm putting out content a lot faster now a lot more I'm trying to improve the quality like I said before I, I got a new camera new mic setup and I just bought a new MacBook so that I can edit, it's like. So I've been working on this MacBook that's, it was uh, to late 2011, and when I had to export videos out of Final Cut, it would take me three, four hours to, to export a video that was like three or four gigs. Now I, I export in under a minute. It's crazy, it's saving me so much time. So I'm really stoked about that. And then I'm of course, you know, working on improving my Photoshop and my editing and blah, 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 all that technical mumbo jumbo you don't really care about, but hopefully and then at the end of the day, it brings you better content. You guys, I get, I get messages every single day from not just here in the US, but all around the world, from Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, no, I'm just kidding, not Antarctica, but all over the world, and it's freaking awesome. Um, you guys are so supportive and you guys are so open sharing your personal stories and the, the hardships that you've gone through and I don't know it's just really really cool that we're all connecting um, in this way and that we're able to be there for each other and help each other grow and learn and and have hope and optimism for the future for our health for like the the um, all the new um, what's the word I'm looking for? All the new uh, progress and new possibilities for a cure for HIV and all these things like Gamora came out and then recently there was this other study where um, the HIV in sleeper cells is being killed and yes, we're not at a cure and we're not in, certainly not at trials, but there are so many avenues from which a cure can develop. So that is so, so like motivating. Um, <laughs> he agrees and it should uh, inspire you guys to know that like people are working hard all over the world coming up with ideas new things are cropping up all the time it's just a matter of time before things merge and make sense and we're able to come up with a practical cure but yeah so so I love I love the comments I love the messages I try to do my daily uh, my daily motivation on on Instagram story some of you guys have seen that every day I'll post a message that I've received or a comment that's really inspiring and motivating to me and I'll post that up for you guys to see anonymously of course because I know a lot of you guys don't want to be seen or known so I keep everyone anonymous unless you say otherwise you never have to worry about that and then also um, I, I've, I've received a couple uh, pieces of mail through snail mail which is really cool um, <laughs> you guys found my my address so that's good for you good job on your sleuthing um, but yeah, I recently got this very, uh, very nice, thoughtful card and, and letter. You can see that. Let me 
Come on, there you go. This was very nice. Thank you to the gentleman who sent this to me. Also wrote a very nice, thoughtful letter there. So, yeah. Appreciate that. And also, right there, another nice card that I had received in the mail too. So, thank you so much, you guys. You don't have to do that. And it, um, I don't know, just anytime I'm feeling maybe a lack of motivation or if I'm questioning what I'm doing and whether it's worth it, whether I should keep going and these kinds of things really keep me focused and motivated and keep me on track to keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. So, oh yeah, so I, I didn't update you guys on my citizenship. I meant to do that. So I went and took the citizenship uh, it was a civics test and the English test. Went into an office, sat down with a guy, and he did a verbal like English test. Obviously I passed that, I've been here since I was five years old and went to school here since I was five years old. So that was really, really easy. And then the civics test, I just had to study for a few days. That was, that was easy too. You're supposed to get six out of 10 questions right. Um, the first six he asked me I got right, so he didn't even bother asking me the last four. So that was cool. Uh, so I was looking down, so just to get story time. So I was looking down at this little, like, he had a manila envelope. No, that's wrong. He had a, what's it called? Is it a manila? I don't know. It's, it's those, it's those typical filing, it's just a filing folder that's like yellow. He had a yellow filing folder and inside were all these papers that looked so old. And I was kind of like, he was taking notes and writing things down and I was kind of like trying to like peep a little bit and see what, what it was. And I saw my mom's name and her writing and I realized, oh shit, those are the papers from when we first came to America in 1990. Like those are old, they're yellow, they're warped. Um, it was funny because there was even like a coffee stain on, <laughs> on the top paper. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> Who was drinking coffee and spilled coffee papers on my immigration and my mom's and my immigration papers? What? <laughs> and then, um, so I asked the guy, I was like, oh my gosh, are those the papers from when we came here? And he's like, yeah, these are, these, these are, this is everything. We keep it all on a file. We had it shipped here to Los Angeles for your interview. And then he was like, let's, let's see what's inside. He was, he was super nice, really friendly. And um, started sifting through the papers and then one of them I saw had my baby footprints on it my baby handprints when I was you know four and a half years old that was that was cool and then there was this envelope it was like this big it was sealed and I was like huh what's that and he goes it's probably a picture from when I first came here and he's like let's find out let's open it up so we got a little letter opener cut that boy open and inside was this adorable black and white little picture of me when I first got here. FOB, fresh off the boat, when I, we arrived in Boston. So, and he's like, I'll photocopy it for you so that you have it and you can show your mom. And so he gave me a photocopy of that. In 1990, I was not even five years old in Boston when I first came to America. Needless to say, it went really well. I passed and now I'm just waiting for my um, oath ceremony where we all come pledge allegiance and that's the last step and that'll be tuesday the 15th at 7 15 a.m in downtown los angeles i'll be swearing in for my citizenship yay so now yeah so now i got that done and then um that's really what i was i've been waiting for so that i could start going on trips outside of the u.s i just didn't want to deal with customs and all of that. I already get pulled aside when I come into the airport from out of the US. Like the last time I came from, from the Netherlands, they pulled me into a room and just started questioning me, badgering me really. They're like, did you, did you go to Iraq while you were there? Did you go to Afghanistan? Did you go to soldier training camps? Um, just all kinds of crazy stuff because my name is Arabic and my biological father's side of the family is Moroccan so I immediately get pegged for stuff like that it's really annoying and I just don't want to deal with it so I've been waiting to get my citizenship before I travel abroad again and I'm planning to go to Bali Indonesia in October I'm definitely gonna film all of that I want to go for at least two weeks and I decided while I'm there for those of you living in Indonesia Bali 
I want to do some good outreach work, maybe working with some local HIV AIDS organizations, see if I can help or if I can at least bring awareness. I would love to do some vlogging of, of all of that. So that's to come next. Those are some of my ideas for next year. And maybe I'll do a trip, maybe like a week in Australia. I do have some family on the, on the East Coast there. So I would love to go up and down the coast for like a week in Australia if I can manage it. You guys, I have so many ideas. The more that I'm doing this, the more that I have been churning this stuff out every week and realizing that I can churn it out every week, that it is possible with my full schedule, I can do it and I can get the editing done and have it out every week. My creative juices have really been flowing lately and I've really been feeling inspired to do more and to talk about more. So what I do is whenever I have an idea, I immediately just put it, I have a notepad. I have the notepad app in my iPhone and I have a section that's just all for YouTube vlogging. And um, as you can see, I just just put down all my notes as I go along and then that's how I decide what I'm gonna do next. And when you guys give me ideas, when you comment or DM me or whatever, I definitely record those too and I add those to the list. So please feel free in the comments below if there's things that you want me to talk about, you want me to go over, um, I'm definitely open to suggestions. Anyway, uh, is, that, is that it? Is that all I have to say right now? Oh yeah, okay. So at my last doctor's appointment, I was switched over to Bictarvi. I was currently taking Genvoya and my doctor switched me over to Bictarvi and I said I would be talking about my experience on Bictarvi, but I had a surplus of Genvoya that I was running through first so that as I'm getting Bictarvi every month, I'm still I'm still consuming the Genvoya that I have and therefore I'm building up a stockpile of Bictarvi. So I've just run through my Genvoya. I decided January 1st, I'm gonna start Bictarvi and I'm, I will start, I'll record my experiences on that medication, any side effects, any like, weird feelings or anything like that. And I'll update you on that too because that's one of the latest best drugs that have come out recently thus far. And I have my doctor's appointment on January 9th. I am planning on recording that as well. I'll make sure that we that we vlog that too so that you guys can stay updated on my journey with my doctor. And I know that the last one was really helpful for a lot of you guys. There was some really good information. My doctor, Jake Gladstein, he's awesome. He was in the interview in the recent vlog too. He talked about supplements and any interactions with um, with with the medication and basically said that there aren't, aren't any interactions that you have to worry about. Contrary to what a lot of you have been told by your doctors, there isn't a concern with whey protein or creatine or any of that really, unless you have pre-existing liver or kidney problems, then for the, for the average person, it's really not a, an issue. The only other concern was with, I believe it's magnesium, yeah. But you have to take magnesium in such high doses at the same time that you're taking medication for there to be any kind of interaction. And the average person just doesn't take anywhere near that. So even, even as a, taking it as a supplement, like I am for bodybuilding, it's still not a concern. And I take magnesium on the opposite end of the day as my medication anyway. So it's, it's, just, it's just a non-issue. It really isn't. Anyway, my point is um, there was a lot of really good information from that doctor's visit, so I definitely want to do that again because I'm sure that we'll uncover some more nuggets of goodness related to that that will be helpful to all you guys. Okay, so, is there anything else? Hmm, I feel like I'm gonna forget something. I think that's it. Yeah, I think we're good. Expect so much more to come this year, you guys. I'm so amped, I'm so excited. Uh, I have so many ideas and my momentum's only picking up and getting bigger and better and I wanna start collaborating and I was thinking about even like going out on the street. I live in West Hollywood, I mean, hello. It's like one of the gay meccas in the US. So I'm thinking about going out on the street and just doing some impromptu interviews with people to get their opinions, see what they have to say, what they think related to HIV and whatever and just kind of get out there and uh, do some more interactive stuff like that. So anyway, you guys, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys make this possible. You guys make this worthwhile. 
yeah, you really make my channel alive, not just a place where I'm recording videos, but it's a, we're turning into a community and there's so much good coming out of it and there's so much, so much more good that's gonna come out of it. I'm so excited and hopeful about the future. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like this video, like it. If you haven't subscribed, if you're new here, go ahead and hit the sub subscribe button. I've got so much more content coming for you. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy Holidays. I hope you guys are all rocking it, killing it out there, living your best life. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Peace.